Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews on gaming and entertainment. In this episode, we discuss the games that I feel changed the landscape of gaming on the Sega Dreamcast. We all know that one of the best and worst things about Sega was taking chances. Sometimes they work and sometimes they were utter failures. We take a look back at the games on a popular system to see what they truly accomplished in the gaming landscape in today's era. These games truly moved me in viewing games differently and changed my style of gaming forever. Hey out there, this is Tokyo's very own number one pirate power station, Jet Set Radio! Over the hood, through the streets, and right into your brain! We're transmitting our signal straight to you. Y'all got your antennas on or what? Yeah, we're riding high in a smooth stream of supersonic sound. And I'm your captain and DJ, Professor K. Jet Set Radio! Jet Grind Radio was released in 2000 by Sega and developed by Smilebite. The game has the player control rival gangs who tag graffiti around town to show their dominance while avoiding the police. This game was the first game to truly, really push the cell shaded art style as developers were unhappy on how 3D development of anime and manga style games were not handled or looked very well. The first game was Fear Effect on PlayStation that was released a couple months prior. The 3D models would receive a toed shader layer on top that brought a cartoony look as well as details never before seen in 3D gaming. Seeing the success of how far you can really push the technique, other companies adopted the art style from franchises like Guilty Gear, No More Heroes, The Legend of Zelda, Dragon Quest, The Tales series, Nino Kuni, and more. The art style is still popular and the legacy still points out to one that put it on the map. Sega's Jet Set and Jet Grind Radio. NFL 2K series was released by Sega and developed by Visual Concepts. This American football game was the first to truly challenge Madden NFL by Electronic Arts, who pretty much had a stranglehold on the license. EA refused to support the Sega Dreamcast due to the financial failures of the Sega Saturn. EA acted as a wait and see and eventually was a factor to the Dreamcast's demise without their third party support. Sega, without a true football game, looked to visual concepts to fill the void. The series became a juggernaut for the Sega Dreamcast, delivering on great gameplay, supreme 3D graphics and animation, and a style Madden just didn't have. It became the highest selling game for the system from 2K to 2K2. After Sega left the console business, though, to join the third party developers, Sega brought their series to all the systems, like the PS2, GameCube, and the Xbox. Being a true competitor now, bit by bit, Sega took shares of Madden's dominance. By 2K5, Sega actually gained close to 50% of the American football sales, selling as much as Madden with their release months ahead and reducing the price in 1999. Although Madden 2005 made more money overall since they were priced higher, the market share was split pretty much 50-50. With EA's first glimpse of losing a grip on the NFL gaming, they made a deal with the NFL to be the sole provider of games with their license pretty much ending the war and stopping innovation. Many still swear to NFL 2K5 as being the best football game as we will only have Madden games annually that rarely change or innovate. For a time, this was the best for football fans for the five straight years. Gamers were actually looking at games improving all the time that pushed each other to get better.
at the time he needed to get to the end zone and was open for the touchdown. A great throw and a big play for this offense. You know, anytime you can skip the goal line stand stuff and go right to the point, hey, that's a successful drive. Fantasy Star Online was released in late 2001 by Sega and developed by Sonic Team. This game was the first console to make use of the online gameplay Sega touted. The action RPG made use of the controller and keyboard to type to your friends or to use emotional symbols as responses. Released to great success, the game paved way to other console online gaming. The game ran at a 56k modem and I remember using my wife's Earthlink account to play. What a joy to play with friends and to actually have a chance to beat unbeatable monsters, but now beatable with friends. The series isn't as popular as it once was, as it truly never evolved like the online MMOs of today, but proved that it could be done. Still a huge fan, we all look back to the game that truly gave a glimpse to what online gaming is today. The final game I wanted to look at is Shenmue. Released in 1999, the development of the game originated by AM2 on the Sega Saturn. The project then moved to the Dreamcast as the Saturn was no longer viable, but boy did it look good. The game consists of RPG elements, life and social simulations, day and night system that has the main character travel through the 80s in Japan and China to find his father's killer. The game became what we know today as an open world RPG. The game cost literally millions, being the most expensive game ever developed that never truly recovered until Virtual Fighter 3 TB came out in Japan and in the arcades. The influence the game left with its state of the art graphics, facial animations, interactions with almost anything and everything. A player could forget about the main quest for hours doing other side quests and just exploring. Other games that influenced their series like the Grand Theft Auto took the premise and perfected it. Not a big fan of Shemu as I found it quite boring but you cannot deny its influence and the huge chance Sega took on a brand new type of game in its infancy to make way for one of the most popular genres today. Fuxa! Fuxa! Real son! Fuxa! That's it for me on this special episode on Beho Reviews. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here. Friends. Those you love close to you. Uh, no. Father. No! Damn. Uh-huh.